Hey everybody, it's Hadjigon Lillipup. Um, I've finally figured out how to see our trophies. So, come in here and oh my gosh, I have got to turn on my speakers. One moment. I bet you guys can hear an echo. Hmm, is that better? Doesn't seem better. Okay, whatever. So, we've got some trophies. I thought you could do it in the game, but apparently you can't. Let me just organize them so I can read them easier. Whoops. Not that. Um, great. <coughs> okay. Coming down here, we have Shopaholic. Uh, that's kind of a spoiler. Close Shave. Survive the zombie onslaught after all lawnmowers have been used. Actually, you know what? Let me just kill this audio. There we go. Let's mute my TV. Um, I, I have hooked my TV up so I can hear the audio, but it has to be so loud that um, it seriously hurts. Uh, close shave. Survive the zombie onslaught with all lawnmowers have been used. It's a pretty easy one. Explodinator. We've got this one. Blast 10 zombies at once with a cherry bomb. I actually got this one two days after that I got the game. Um, plant your first 10 pea shooters. Soil your plants. That's a, uh, it's a bronze trophy. ZFFs forever. Bowl a winner with a friend in co-op walnut bowling. Yep. Uh, Crash of the Titan. Defeat your for first gargantor. Smarty branches. Grow the tree of wisdom at least a hundred feet. Nom nom nom. Stop the horde using only sunflower, walnut, and chomper on any level. I could have sworn I did it. I either used... I haven't looked back at the recording yet, but um... I either used walnut or potato mine. So, I really don't know. Versus, versus, versus. Go on a five-game winning streak in versus mode. This one's pretty easy for me. Alive and planting. Survive 40 waves of pure zombie ferocity. Uh, this means on the survival endless, and I actually don't think I've ever gotten this one before. It's really difficult to get. I mean... It, it can really annoy you. I mean, I've gotten up to 39. That was probably the highest I've ever gotten. So, yes. Master of Multiculture. Collect all 49 plans in the game. And then, Home on Security. Complete Adventure Mode. You get a golden trophy for that. Isn't that awesome? So, yes, that's how you find the trophy trophies in your thing. You just go into your trophy and do your game, and got all these different trophies you can see. You have a trophy in that? I don't know. Okay, so I will see you in the game. Now. Ooh, I got mail. Okay, so we're back, and <gasps> the almanac. Oh, it's so pretty. So now you can see your almanac anytime, and now we can go into mail and see what we got. Hello, we are about to. Oh, we've read this one. Okay, basically you can read the ones the zombies drop. Like, hello, we would like to visit for a midnight snack. Uh, okay. Did I just delete those? I had X. Is X delete? I wouldn't think so. Okay. Never mind. Let's just go into the game. Zombie hand. I'm not gonna be able to sing along with the music in this swimming pool. Why is my color changing constantly? TV, don't fail me now. Looks like the zombies gave up attacking your front yard. Now, oh, we've read this. We read that last time. So, we're gonna want a lily pad because that's the only way you can plant non-aquatic plants on the water. So take the lily pad and then take your normal stuff you would want. I 
I, I can't survive the onslaught with just Chomper, Walnut, and... I actually could do that on level 5-1. I might be able to do that. Um, because it's going to be difficult to find a level where you can get that trophy. I'm almost positive I got that. Did I really use Potato Mine? Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to look back at that video. Peter. I'll take that. This. Okay. For a second there, I was using the arrow keys <laughs> instead of the left control stick. So, yes, in this level, if you stick by my logic of, um, two rolls of st uh, sunflowers, you will have so much sun. I'm serious. You are going to be out of your head with sun. Oh, man. It's bringing back so many memories of zombie of survival endless. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I hate it so much. <laughs> it just bothers me. But yes, I'm going to be doing this Let's Play. We'll keep having videos up when I keep finding new strategies um, that I want to show you guys of Zombie Endless, like Survival Endless. So we're going to... This Let's Play is going to be pretty much forever. I'm never going to stop it. It's going to be complete when I complete all the stuff I want to show you guys, like when it's 100%. But this Let's Play will be... I will upload every... Um, I can't think of what to say. I will upload, um, wow. <laughs> I will upload videos of this forever. Um, so yeah. Put a sunflower down. The zombie's got his little tongue out. And... Oh no, another zombie. Let's just put a repeater out. Money! You know what Crazy Dave said? That if we save up $7,500, he'll give us something special. Which is the 8th... Oh, no, no. He didn't just say something special. He actually said the 8th seed slot. So, let's just put that in there. And... Another sunflower. As you can see, we're just cranking in the sun. We easily, we've easily put out $600 or 600 sun worth of plants right now. I mean, they're just... The sun is just coming and coming and coming. You're never going to run low on sun in these levels on the early levels. Zombies will start to really come fast. But you, you shouldn't have to worry. And our first... Okay. How can you not swim? Are you worried about drowning because... You're already dead. <laughs> wow. So these are the water zombies. And they have a duck with a patch. I don't know. I didn't design this game, but I thought it was a genius move on their part. It looks kind of stupid, but the zombies look kind of stupid. I mean, it's it's not supposed to be a really scary game. It's supposed to be more of a... Tower defense game. So I've actually, um, this may be a little different from my normal, uh, recording setup because I moved my television and, oh no, they're coming up. <laughs> Look at, they got like little, th that's not in my pool. Come on, it's a pool. They wouldn't have seaweed. They're getting a little too close. Probably shouldn't have gone that way. I could have just gone to the left by one. But who cares? Now, you may think that using a Doom Shroom on the lily pad would just get rid of the lily pad and you'd be all set. Actually, that's what I thought um, when I tried it. But actually, it leaves muck in the, in the pool. And you can't plant there even with a lily pad if, until the muck goes away. And it takes as long as the grass. So, yes. And you waste 25 sun by getting rid of a 
lily pad, so I'd just suggest put it on the grass. Okay, this guy is named Squash. And what does he do? He squashes zombies. Okay. Squash is like a potato mine who doesn't need to charge up. So we're going to take him. So like you, you, oops, you, 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 um, there we go. Ready, set, plant! So now you've got two, um, two things you can put off in the beginning that will pretty much help you. Oh, why am I so tired? It's What time is it? Seriously, I have no clocks in here that work? Seriously? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Because I just, I had an alarm clock earlier, um, but I, it's really annoying the electricity in this place because, um, we just got a new place and the electricity dies randomly, just gone and it comes back on like 20 minutes later. So I'm crossing my fingers that it never happens when I'm recording, but it's very likely that it would. Uh, we need to get an electrician in here because, um, well, secondly, my, um, I had a alarm clock and, well, the outlet doesn't work anymore. I mean, it's got the reset button, but if you press the reset button, it gives off electricity for like two minutes and then it just pops the reset button out again. So it, it will never stay on for ever or for a decent amount of time because I don't know um, just yesterday I was so irritated because I was getting ready to upload a Kirby's Return to Dreamland and the electricity shut off my room awesome so I had to I couldn't even upload yesterday that was I've tried this so many times that was the 17th today's the 18th I think Yeah, it's the 18th. So, I was so, so annoyed because I hadn't uploaded since the 15th. And I couldn't upload because I don't have any electricity in my room. My room is where the uh, internet tower is. So, yes. And it's not just, and it's not like my laptop can't, um, survive with a long charge. No, we actually have no internet. Um, our internet is on right now, and I'm trying to set something to upload, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go away soon. I, it's really irritating, but, um, like, the, electric, the electricity company is probably the stupidest, <gasps> ooh, probably the stupidest thing ever, because we call them, and they say, call us back when you don't have any, any electricity, so they can come out and fix it. Well, um, what, what if you said that to someone without a cell phone? Probably like the most moronic thing a company's ever said to me. I mean, come on. What moron thinks that you can call someone without electricity if you're calling them from the house? It's just stupid. But, um, the electricity company has a monopoly in this town, so I have no choice. Well, it's not my choice. It's my parents, but we, we, I've looked around on the internet for hours trying to see if there are any other electricity companies in this area. And no, there are not. <laughs> um, so it's not like we can just switch to a different company. No, we have to stick with this one and they'll send the guy over when our electricity is out. Probably it just comes back on. We we want them to fix. We don't want them to turn it back on. We want them to make it not go off in the first place. And I don't see how anyone cannot get that unless you're like that zombie without a brain. That's why they're trying to eat brains so they can become intelligent.
I mean, it was the same thing after Irene. Um, after Hurricane Irene, we didn't have our power back for two or three weeks. We just had to sit there and wait, hoping they would turn it back on soon. Oh, come on. You're kidding me. I have to use this? Really? Oh, crud. What am I going to do here? Uh, squash. Aya. Probably should put some more repeaters out if we're going to be getting bucket heads. Sorry, I'm straying from the game. I'm just really annoyed because, I mean, I've lost so much data because um, I have an external hard drive that needs to be constantly plugged in and... I record to that directly because these files are like three, four gigabytes, and if you're recording two or three of them at once, that's nine or twelve gigabytes right there, and that that can really mess up your computer. Considering I only have 500 uh, gigabytes on my hard drive, well, only yeah, um, but I can't. My computer's getting so full with all this crap. Like, I really need to clean it up, but I never really want to. That's the problem. <laughs> what, what are you going to want to clean? So, yeah, my computer's got, like, probably 100 gigabytes of disk space available, but um, it's so much faster to record directly to my hard drive because my hard drive's got a special cord that it's actually faster to write to. And I think it has better quality. And I want the files there anyway, so I don't have to wait 20 minutes sending them over to my hard drive when I'm done with them on my computer. <laughs> so, yes. I can't believe we're on our 11th LP already. 11. I, I remember, it feels like it was just yesterday that I was... Doing Pokemon Black and White, which is my sixth. Oh gosh, no, bad. I'm sorry, I've like talked nothing about this game. <gasps> yes, my favorite. Actually, this is not my favorite, but it's the favorite one. It's my favorite one that we can possibly get right now. Okay, it's the three Peter. Shoots peas in three lanes. So. If you put one, let me see if I can actually show it. Um, this is actually a strategy for Survival Endless. I've not tried it though. I'm not very excited about the idea of um only having these guys. But if you put them in this lane, then they shoot in this lane, this lane, and this lane. So you put two of them here. Or you put one on each of these two lanes. This one and this one. Then you can pretty much um, hit every single lane. Yeah, pretty much. You can hit every single lane. And I have so much more stuff open for like cob cannons and stuff you really, really need. But I don't like it because they don't have enough firepower. I mean, they shoot the same as one P in three different lanes. I mean, if I was going to use pea shooters, I would use the quad pea shooter, whatever it's called. I'm not going to be using that triple pea shooter except for courses. I mean, I tried it on Survival Endless and I got to like, like, 10. But they don't stand a chance because they don't shoot rapid enough. You need... Uh, peas that shoot so fast. I mean, if you have uh, three quadrupeds, that's 12 peas hitting each zombie. And then if you have the uh, torchwood, that's 24 peas hitting each zombie. So instead of having three, six, six peas in each lane hitting each zombie, you can have 24 peas in each lane hitting each zombie. It just costs a lot more. So, that's what I have to feel about the triple, or three Peter. Uh, it's not a bad plan at all. Actually, it's a very, very good one. Like here, it shoots in every single lane that are next that is next to it. So, it's really a waste to put it on 
the end lanes because he's just gonna waste uh, P when he could be shooting. I mean, if you you're gonna waste 325 sun on him, why wouldn't you just and only use two P? Why wouldn't you just put two P shooters out and and save the sun? So let's put a three Peter over here. And he does the job pretty quick, but he shoots as rapidly as a pea shooter. It is not a very fast shooting thing. <sighs> Why are you tired? What time is it? Oh, I have a watch. Duh. It is almost two o'clock. I'm like looking around my room. Where? What is the time? Clock. A clock. Oh, don't you dare. I mean, if they bite those things, that's a lot of sun wasted. Let's just put a walnut right there. This guy here. There we go. So if you wanted to, yeah, wanted, if you wanted to, uh, in this level, you could potentially uh, put sunflowers out here, or out here, and put another walnut over here because you're already shooting in that lane. I mean, this this level has a lot of resources for sunflowers, and then with when you get the marigolds. You can just put them around everything and... I'm gonna stop spoiling the game. Oh no, you. Okay, that's a diver zombie. He, uh, scuba zombie, actually. He swims underneath all the peas and whenever he comes up to eat something... Like, let's say... Come on, Walnut, charge faster! Charge fa- Okay, good. Let's say he wants to eat the Walnut, then he's vulnerable for getting hit by peas but only when he's getting um when, only when he's eating so if, but um you can still hit him with like squash while he's underneath the ground and you can blow i think you can blow him up with that with the cherry bomb i don't seem to remember put another three peter out three three peter Money. <clears throat> we are up to a lot of money, and you make 300 bucks each time you complete this level automatically because of if you keep all your lawnmowers. You get 50 bucks for each lawnmower, and they just replenish after each, um, whatever it's called phase or level, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't know if I want to put more three Peters in here. I mean,. I, I've done it before, and it does amazing job, but in this lane, I kind of feel like that lane's getting, like, the end. The, all these lanes are getting so many P's at once, like, this lane would be getting three, and another, another three, which would be six. Well, this lane's only getting three, and if you're adding this thing in here, then you're, you've got a lane that's getting twelve. It's just uneven, and I don't like that. I don't know why. Just kind of weird. So I'm just gonna put a guy back there. They suspect nothing. It'd be so funny. Oh my gosh, hiccup burp. It'd be so funny if a pole vaulting zombie said, Ah, you can't catch me. Yeah. Come on, guys. I just like how they're so happy, and then when they start getting eaten, they just frown. Turn that smile upside down. Yay! Don't you dare finish that thing! Oh, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him. You are evil! Yes! Okay, this is the Tangle Kelp. 
aquatic plant that pulls a zombie underwater. So this is basically the zombie equivalent, or the water equivalent to... Potato Mine. And, um... But he charges instantly, so that's pretty good. Let me just uh, see what time we're up to. We are up to 26 minutes. Um, let's just let's do another course. What the heck? We're gonna do. We might go into 40 minutes. I don't care. Actually, let's not take this guy because it's just a big waste of money. And when you get start to get repeaters out there instead of that guy, you're you're gonna be really um a lot more excited with these guys. I mean. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the sunflower. Duh. Um I love the three Peter. But um it's not that good. I mean it's a brilliant idea. Um when I was first playing this game, I thought that was a the best thing because I thought that um, the other plants didn't shoot them rapidly. <gasps> oh, why am I so tired? Is it because I slept? Is it because I didn't go to sleep until three in the morning? No, I can't be. I just don't know. I don't know what it could be. Put a tangle kelp right there. Put a. Sunflower, squash. I mean, the zombies don't stand a chance. When you have so few coming like this, you're just like two at a time. You thought I was going to say it, didn't you? And if it had been a different Let's Play, I might have. But I didn't. I just like how the squash looks over. This is so awesome. I wish, like, the Swash would just get back up once he squishes a zombie and just keep training down the... or, um, plowing down the zombies or whatever you want to say. Like, keep going in the same row. Just not disappear when the... Ah, stab my leg! The heck was that? Sharp desk? Ow! Ow! What the heck was that supposed to be? My gosh! It's like... Prick! It's like they sanded the edges before they sent it. Before you buy... They sand the little corners, so... If anyone... It's like the um, little spikes on movie theaters. They're just trying to prevent you from putting your leg or resting your leg on the desk by making you bleed profusely. Like, if you have those... Um, I actually was interested to find out that lots of people in my school don't know what those spikes are. Um, they're actually for... Well, that could just be because kids in my school are very, very stupid. I mean, I'm in higher classes of everything. <laughs> it's it's kind of scary. Like, I'm in one grade higher, and I haven't even skipped a grade, which is really weird. But, um... In movie theaters, they have those spikes to keep birds from sitting up there and making nests. And then... You know crapping on people that walk by. So, yes. Um, but lots of kids in my school thought that those... It's so sad, the educational system. I mean... No! Dang it! Come on! Yes! Yes! What was I saying? Oh yeah, about the educational system. Ragging on them again. Um... The battery for control- No, it's not! Liar! Crap, it is! 
Dang it. I don't I don't want to stop. Okay, gosh. I'll just grab a USB charger. Come on. Don't die on me. It it probably won't die for a while actually. These chargers last for a very long time or controllers. Whatever you call them. Just plug into the PS3 and come on, go into the stupid where the heck is the is it, it's upside down. Go in the freaking. There we go. <laughs> okay. <sighs> that zombie's gonna get crushed. And he's not even gonna get to rage about not finishing his Sudoku puzzle. So just keep putting out these repeaters. Just keep putting out these walnuts. Oh, come on. How can those stupid cones protect when they're getting hit in the stomach? Well, that didn't take much once the cone fell off, but... I don't get that. You'd think they would, like, wear body armor or something. But no, if you have something protecting your head, then... You're invincible? Does that mean if I were to rob a bank wearing a top hat? People couldn't shoot at me. <laughs> yes, that is what it means. Little smiley guy. This guy's like, he's gonna get up soon. Die! I just like how they just go into the water and disappear. Just drown. Just go away. Forever. <sighs> so, um, this is gonna be up on the 24th or 25th. I don't know. I think it's the 25th. I'm recording it, as you know, on the 18th. I kind of lost my cushion of recording when my capture card broke. Yes. It was... I had so many, so many weeks or even a month ahead of my recording. And now I have a week. <laughs> and the problem is with this Let's Play, it takes me... Two days to do one part. So once it gets caught up, I'm going to have to do every other day. If I even record that often. Because I haven't recorded in, since the 12th. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know when I recorded last. 12th sounds right. No, you moron. Put the repeater here, not here. Probably put a little guy out here. Oh, come on. How are you still alive? My gosh. These bucket heads are invincible. I mean, I understand the screen door shields and how you are protected from blasts against that. But I don't understand how you can be protected from blast by a cone on your head or by a bucket on your head. Unless you're going head first, you're not going to be protected by those things. So, yes, we are. Ah, I can do it. What the heck? We have so much sun, I'm just going to get rid of the sunflowers and plant repeaters. <clears throat> no! Boom! I didn't want him to destroy that. Three repeaters. Down, three more to go. Hasta la vista, zombie. Die! Repeaters! <laughs> Wow, I am so irritating. No, not that, you moron. Not that one. Are you insane? 
Yes. Stop fighting stuff. So, yes, we are going to... Well, obviously, we're going to win this. But this is just going to be so sad that the zombies can't even stand a chance. Let's, let's get rid of all our sunflowers. What the heck? What the heck? I don't know if I'm going to go and find the Yeti. You guys who play the game know what I'm talking about. Um, because I, I have never found the Yeti before, and it's not like it's an achievement or anything. It's just like something to put in your book. But, um, some people say that the Yeti doesn't always come. You might have to do the entire game a third time. He never comes on your first time, but he supposedly comes on your second, but I'm always worried that he's not going to appear and I'm going to have to play through the entire thing again, which would really suck. So, yes. Look how much power we have. This is eight peas per row per zombie. Oh, yay! It's a car key. Crazy Dave's car key. You can now visit Crazy Dave's shop. Hey, you found my car key. You know what that means. Buy something. You always want to look at Crazy Dave's uh, license plate because there are some really funny things he says. Crazy Dave's Twinkie Dinks is open for business. War and peas. <laughs> Have a look. See if you can't find something you like. Oh, and see if you can't find something you like. I read that with the wrong context. Okay, so... For... Oh, we have 5,000 coins! Yay! Uh, we can get the 8th seed... 8th seed... 8th seed slot. <laughs> um, the pool cleaner, which cleans the pool in... Because obviously you can't have a lawnmower in the pool levels. But since we're almost done with them, and we're not doing Survival Endless for a while... Actually, no, actually, wait. I might want that. But I, I think I want eight seed slots more. <sighs> yeah, I'll, make, I'll do that. Yay. Uh, nine seed slots. 20,000. Uh, this is the Gatling P. He shoots four P's at a time. And you, uh, basically these are like, um, evolutions of your plants. Once you have the plant down, you can plant this plant over it. And it costs a lot of m sun. And then the plant will be more powerful. Like, this is a twin sunflower. It will give you two suns, uh, instead of one. So you can basically, instead of having two rows of sunflowers, you can have one row of these guys. Or you could have two rows of these guys and have the equivalent of a lot of sun. <laughs> so if you like, look at Crazy Dave's... Oh. Funny thing about zombie process. Sometimes, it makes them come out real little. Oh no! No, I hate this level! Real little and real mean. Defend your shins. I hate this level. They're so tiny! Tiny zombies. So, yes. This is probably my least favorite level in the entire game. Look how many there are. They just fly out and they're stupid. No things to kill them with. Luckily, I think that the cone heads go down in four hits. Two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Okay, well, seven hits. Seven hits is not that bad. But there are so many zombies, and there are so few pea shooters you get. We're just going to constantly need to blow them up. Probably need to blow this area up. Boom. There we go. Uh, this zombie's getting a little close. Let's kill him. And what the heck, we'll kill them. Pea shooter! This is a really, really annoying level. I just don't like this place. Or course. 
Boom. I'm sure you get a lot of things like walnuts and exploding plants, but I thought the little zombies were just kind of pathetic. They do walk fast, but they're actually not walking fast. They're walking the same pace as the normal zombies. It just looks like they're walking fast. <sighs> so, because they cover more distance relative to their size. But they cover the same exact amount of distance for the same ma exact amount of time as a regular zombie. I was never really excited about this course. It's kind of stupid. I mean, it takes them forever to chew through these things. Once you have the walnuts up, you're invincible. There's nothing that's going to stop you. No, no little plants will ever get through these walnuts. Especially if you put them back here. It's almost guaranteed that they're never going to get through. Walnut right here. Now they do throw the football guys at you, and the football guys, I think. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, they take a decent amount of hits. <clears throat> but once you put out two pea shooters, they'll go down very quickly. As you can see, we have two football guys there. <coughs> they are actually eating through the thing, even though I said it was impossible. Those little freaks! Don't make me a liar! I'm gonna be a little more safe now. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. Not a huge wave. Yes. A huge wave. And this is their pretty much first hu actually huge wave of zombies. We actually have a lot of zombies here. But they go down pathetically easy. Look at that. We're done. They're all gone. <gasps> the jalapeno. Oh, uh, this is this is a great plant. It stores an entire lane of zombies. Still not as effective as a doom shroom, but you're gonna want it. Let me go to the almanac. Should we need the jalapeno? Jalapeno! Destroy an entire lane of zombie. Oh, wait, no. That's not the thing I have to read. Mmm, Jalapeno says, He's not going to explode, not this time, but soon. Oh, so soon. It's close. He knows it. He can feel it. His whole life's been leading up to this moment. Ah, uh, yes. Damage massive. All zombies in a lane. Single use. Instant. Single use delayed activation. Yeah. So, thank you all for watching. Next time we'll test out this jalapeno. Or jalapeno. Um, how long are we up to? 45 minutes. <laughs> so, thank you all for watching. And... Goodbye.